Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to another Portal 2 mod. Today, we are playing Eidolon, I think is the way you pronounce it. Um, it's apparently a short five map mod. Um, for Portal 2, it has brand new music environments and makes fresh mechanics out of old techniques. It's short enough mod that describing too much can spoil quite a bit. So, um, yeah, interesting to see where this one goes. It looks very nice indeed. Um, there's only four here, so unless it's like a bonus map or something. Um, now it's probably to enjoy the stream because I have Pepsi Max. Man, I haven't got Pepsi Max tonight. I haven't got a, I haven't got a drink on my table, so we might have to dash away at some point real soon to uh, go and grab one. I'm letting the side down. Sorry, Mika. Alrighty then, this is the beginning. Interesting environment, that's for sure. Just. Uh, Reminds me a lot of some other puzzle games, like this whole, the outsidey bit at least. But, um, okay. Not sure what the button did. I think I missed what it did. So, we've got a, okay. Interesting. So one respawns, and maybe yeah, Batcats maps are a bit like this, aren't they? So it seems like the first puzzle is literally just trial and error. There was also is there actually any music on this, or is it very very quiet? I don't know. Um, I think it's the there was another there's another puzzle game. Um, I bought for Vintage, I think it was the Rondea project, something similar to that. Kind of reminds me of this a little bit. But, uh, looks really nice. Looks really nice indeed. Let's see where this takes us, shall we? Can I make that jump? I cannot. It's interesting that that's changed, though. that nothing has changed on there. Kind of sounds a bit like a frequency test track at the minute. With all the uh, cross between frequency tracks and a 56k modem firing up. That's what I'm going for. I'll put one to that. Interesting sounds going on. So, not sure what this is telling us, but we've got an ant line. I guess we need to put some power into here. This kind of rem reminds me of. Um, Triple laser from the uh, the main game. Oh, okay, so the dots. I guess the dots are the catchers. So I guess we just. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It's um. So that's one. I mean, it just it does kind of seem a bit trial trial and error like, which is. an issue but that seems to have so 
seems to do what I need it to do. I don't know if I need to take the cube with me. Probably not. It's, uh, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. You never know when you might need a laser redirection cube. don't mind laser redirection puzzles what I don't what I'm not uh, what I'm not fond of is when they're just like trial and error puzzles and they don't really have any sort of substance to them at all you know, there are some really good laser redirection puzzles out there need to refire and um, we are dead excellent also I'm just wondering did we could we not skip this whole puzzle I think we could skip this I don't think we need to do that laser bit. We could have skipped the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, I think with laser redirection puzzles, like I say, a lot of the time, it comes down to how well the puzzle is actually made. Um, if it's a good puzzle and there's not a lot of trial and error involved, then I don't mind it so much. I don't mind laser redirection puzzles. It's, it's when you're just sort of aimlessly firing around looking for obscure angles where I'm not a big fan of them so okay so we're gonna need a redirection cube here we got so we need to turn on various parts we'll do various things here so oh wow Okay, that's interesting. The world kind of closes behind me. So we have another cube up there. If I could... Um... So I quite like the music. They've almost gone for... Um... The, the art style of like the cubes, the way they've reskinned the cubes, is quite interesting. Well, it's almost like a um, oh, what's the art style called? Um, I'm thinking of um, the antechamber art style. Okay, look. okay, that's what I wanted. And with the lions and stuff, I can't think what the art style is called for that. But yeah, they've. Cubes are, are really cool. They almost kind of look cartoony, which is rather nice. Hey, that's pretty cool. So that now resets everything. And I guess we need to look for where the next one is. Yeah. So I'm, we need to hit all three of these this time. And then we need to come back for that one over there. Yeah, okay. So can we... I mean, we could do something slightly different here where we hit this to there. And then we'll take this one over here. We've also got another cube here, which you didn't see before. Soundtrack's quite nice as well. Oh, is that it? Is that it for that map? Okay. Wasn't sort of expecting it to uh, to be quite that short. This is called Funk Detail.
Yo, Bremick, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. How are you doing this fine evening? Um... I did that and that, but what's that actually giving me? Just, just indicating I can now go up there, right? So, good to hear, Bremick. Okay, we could do that potentially. We're going to want to come out of there though again to get a little bit more height, maybe. We'll see. Nope. So, a ball surface that I can match onto. Oh, you know what? I should do this. I'm being dumb. There we go. So we do that. And then... I think it was... No, it was there, wasn't it? There. Excuse me. I can't see the other, other poor shot from here. Okay, in that case, what we'll do is we will swap this round. Yes, this is portal. This is purely portal. The art style is quite nice in this one. And I should be able to shoot. And that opens up the door. And it gives me a white button. And on to the next. So yeah, we've already got like three more, three more to go here. That's oh, right, two more to go. We've done three already. If there is five, I mean the top screen is said four. But I'm assuming that's going to have given me another cube. So it returns me back to this area every time it seems. So we have two cubes. It's slight. It is slightly different. And we have got a crush. Good job, Mod. Good job. Just like the other day as well, that's actually crashed my Steam. Ha. Huh. I say the other day, it was, um, it was, what was it? It was the Memories Mod, wasn't it? Same thing happened with the Memories Mod. Oh, no biggie. Let's restart Steam. Yeah, it does. It seems really nice. It seems like they, they put quite a bit. It seems like they put quite a bit of work into it, Mika. Um, it's just a shame that it is, or, or they say it's so short. Um, it's sort of like the only problem I'd like to have seen it kind of like a, a bit bigger or a bit longer at least with a few more maps and puzzles and stuff. Uh, now, where did we get to, though? That's the problem. If 
if I go back to funk detail, because we did just do that. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll no clip to the exit. Try again. Okay, so I'm guessing we're probably going to want to use we we'll probably want to use the slanted bit here. Seems to be doing the trick. And this will take us to the next map. Hopefully. Quite like the custom loading screens. Well, not very often you see custom loading screens. Slanted lasers. like when you go you go through the uh for some reason when you go through the also just realized the relays activate music which is pretty cool it's pretty cool but yeah i was gonna just about i was just trying to say um i know it's quite um Given that it's called slanted lasers, I think we're going to have to be using these as we have already. Um, sort of an early inkling as to what we might be doing here. Thunderstorms are back. I would say nice, Mika. It depends whether or not you like thunderstorms or not. It's not nice if you don't like thunderstorms, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, so we have now five redirection cubes. Um, I'm going to create a manual save here. Um, I don't want to use F6 because my son's actually in, in the middle of a Portal 2 playthrough at the minute, so I don't want to overwrite his game. Um, so I'm guessing this time around we're going to want to light up all of these nodes. Yes, we do. I think the last one's going to come across here. Because, if I remember rightly, we have this one going to here. Actually, they don't line up, so... Portal Stream wins a competition. <laughs> I almost think we'll probably want to do what we did here. Oh, so we're not going to be able to capture this one. So let's do some replanning here. I 
we'll go to that one first. I like the way it kind of like the the soundtrack is kind of each of the like laser relays seems to like give me something different on the soundtrack. It's a really cool touch. Each little sort of addition brings something different onto the soundtrack, which is really, really cool. Um, all right, so then I just gotta do this, basically. Hey, Fumbly, what's going on? Welcome along, hope you're doing well. And there we go. But yeah, that was really cool how like each of these relays almost gives an extra depth layer of instruments on the track. I don't know what like the professional musicality musical musical term would be um it's almost like what i love about um hotel in celeste it's like the further you progress through uh hotel in celeste like the more and more layers of the track you get until you get like the full thing like playing out it's really really cool but I have my weighted cube, and I think that might be it, actually. Yeah. It's a real shame, because that, that was really, really good. It's really well made, and um, I thought, like, the, the custom graphics and everything is um, really cool. Interesting that I cannot scroll all the way down your portal file on YouTube. <laughs> It's probably because I've got like over a thousand videos in the play. If you're talking about the main playlist, maybe because I've got like over a thousand videos in the uh, main community chambers playlist, Mika, possibly. But yeah, that's a really cool mod. I really like the style of it. I like the custom music. Um, like I say, the, the big thing for me though, unfortunately, is just like the length. It's like five maps and the puzzles aren't particularly challenging. Um, which don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing. But when you've got like such a short mod, um, it would have just been better to sort of like play it out a little bit. It'd be really cool though to see if they could like come back with this style and like make some more maps. But um, yeah, very interesting indeed. That is the end of the Eidolon. Hopefully I pronounced that right. The, the Eidolon mod. YouTube, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back real soon with another Portal 2 mod. But until then, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching and goodbye.